Governor Cooper says he thinks the deal on expanding Medicaid coverage is close, and tonight there's a new sign that could be the case. So lawmakers have been skeptical about any deal getting through before the election. However, late today, hospital leaders said that they are now willing to accept some changes to the state law that they've previously opposed. Capitol reporter Michael Heiling covering this for us tonight and joins us live in Raleigh with the latest. Michael. Yeah, some of the key issues in this are still unresolved, but just about an hour ago, a group representing the state's hospitals told us they submitted a new proposal to leaders here in General Assembly saying they are willing to address one of the key sticking points in all of this. A major change impacting health care for more than half a million people. And we should not leave North Carolinians uninsured when they could be helped here with the press of a button. The state's Health and Human Services Secretary Cody Kinsley wrote this letter to Republican leaders in the General Assembly urging them to vote this month to expand Medicaid coverage. He says if it happens, North Carolina would draw more than $500 million a month. With the amount of time it takes to implement it, he added, this is likely our last chance to go live this calendar year. We should not leave hundreds of millions of dollars on the table. While the legislature is in session next week, lawmakers are not planning votes and say little has changed since leaving Raleigh earlier this summer. I don't know that we're any closer than we were already. You know, the Senate uh, voted for Medicaid expansion. We've put it out there, what needs to be in there to make this happen. Republicans in the Senate want other reforms, including to laws dealing with hospital competition. Late Friday, the North Carolina Healthcare Association submitted a new proposal to lawmakers about that, now saying they're willing to back some changes they've previously opposed. It's not clear yet if leaders in the General Assembly agree with that plan. With the election looming, lawmakers on both sides doubt a vote on Medicaid expansion is imminent. But I also don't know that it can get through the House with as much resistance as there is from House Republicans until after the election when you've got some people who either aren't up for election or aren't coming back who might be willing to vote for it. If it's going to happen this year, it'd have to be after the election. I don't see how anything can be done before uh, November 8th. And Republicans in the House and Senate told us late today they are still reviewing this proposal from the Health Care Association, but a spokesperson for House Speaker Tim Moore called it, quote, an important step forward. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.